Hello friends, it's nice to see you are here in class with me. I like you and you like me. Let's see how fun learning can be. Well, hello boys and girls. Thank you so much for coming to preschool today. I am really excited that you guys are here because today we are gonna talk about my favorite thing to eat. Do you have a favorite thing that you like to eat? I bet you do. There are so many delicious things to eat in the world. It's hard to just choose a favorite. But today we're gonna to talk about one of my favorite things to eat. It's very cold. It comes in all different colors. And sometimes you like to eat it for your birthday, or maybe you would like to eat it for a holiday or a celebration, or maybe you just like to eat it after dinner, which is when I like to eat it. Do you think you know what my favorite thing to eat is? Well, if you do, just wait a minute because we are gonna talk about that a little bit later. But first, we're gonna get our preschool day started. So we're gonna start because I am wondering, what day is today, what day is today? Today is Monday, today is Monday. In the month of August, in the month of August, let's learn about C, let's learn about C. Yes, boys and girls, today is Monday, and it is the first day of the week after a nice break over our weekend. Did you have a good weekend? Did you do something special over the weekend? I didn't do anything special this weekend. I just cleaned my house, <laughs> which is important too, huh? Because we wanna live in a place that looks clean and tidy. So let's talk about our days of the week because we have seven days in a week. Do you remember that? All right, ready? Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Good job, boys and girls. So I have a question for you. If today is Monday, what day was yesterday? Yesterday is the word we use when we're talking about the day that came before. So let's look at our map here or our poster. Today is Monday and we wanna talk about yesterday. Say, yesterday I went to church. So yesterday is going to be the day before. And on our poster here, we have to go up or in the days of the week, we go backwards, huh? So yesterday was Sunday. Good job. Here's another question for you. If today is Monday, what day is tomorrow? Now tomorrow is the word that we use when we're talking about the next day or moving forward. So today is Monday, it's right here on our poster, and I wanna talk to you guys about tomorrow. Let's say tomorrow we're going to go to the store. So tomorrow we're gonna drop down on our poster. Tomorrow is Tuesday, good job. So yesterday is the day before. Tomorrow is the next day. Good job, boys and girls. All right, let's talk about our months of the year, huh? We have 12 months in our year, and the month that we're in right now is the month of August. Now, the month of August is usually a really hot month where I live because we are in the season of summer. And during summer, the sun is out a lot and we go swimming a lot and it's a nice hot season. So when we sing our song, I, when we get to the month of August, I want us to do a sign that's going to remind us that it's August, okay? So for us, we're gonna do a big sunshine with our arms. So make a circle with your arms to represent the sun, right? Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Good job, don't just watch me do it. I need you to do it with me, okay? All right, so let's sing the, sun, the months of the year and when we get to August, remember to put your arms up for the sun, all right? So, January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August. Oh, here's our sun. Good job. Are you putting your arms up? 
September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. One more time. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August. Oh, it's August. Good job. September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Nice job, boys and girls. Now, what does the weather look like today? Oh, what does the weather look like? Is it sunny or cloudy or rainy today? Oh, what does the weather look like? I want you to get up and go look out your window and tell your parents, what does your weather look like today? I'm gonna go outside and look at my weather and we'll see if our weather looks the same. Does your weather look the same as mine? It is a sunny day in my area today, and there's a few white clouds, but for the most part, it's sunny. And that's because it is summer here, and there's a lot of sun in the summertime. Does that mean that it doesn't rain in the summertime? No, we get rainy days too, but today is a very sunny day. So let me put that on my weather chart over here. Today is sunny. Okay. Let's see, let's do our scripture next, okay? This week, we are going to be memorizing a scripture in the book of Mark. I have my little um, book here to help me remember what it is we're gonna be learning this week. So this week, we're gonna be learning the scripture in the book of Mark. And this is Mark chapter 16, verse 15. So let Miss Kaylin say it first, and then I want you to repeat after me, okay? Mark chapter 16, verse 15. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Please repeat with me. Mark chapter 16, verse 15. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Good job. Let's try to put some hand motions in it. Since today is Monday, we haven't done hand motions yet. So we're gonna try to make some up, okay? So the beginning of the verse says, go ye into all the world. So we're gonna use our hands like we're pointing into all the world. So we're gonna say, go ye into all the world. Okay, and we put our hands into a circle because we're talking about the world, huh? So do it with me, ready? Go ye into all the world. Good job. Now we're, the second line says, and preach the gospel to all, every nation, to every creature, and preach the gospel to every creature. So we're gonna point to our mouths because we're gonna use our words to preach. Now, is words the only way that we can show a, our testimony of Jesus Christ? No, we can show by our actions, we can show when we serve other people, but this scripture, we're talking about preaching the gospel with our words, okay? So by sharing our testimony. So, and preach the gospel to every creature. So I want you to point to all the people in the room. And if you're the only one in the room, you can just point, kind of like me. I'm the only one in here, but we can point around to help us remember that everybody needs to learn about Jesus Christ, okay? So, and preach the gospel to every creature. Good job. So let's start at the very beginning, ready? Mark chapter 16, verse 15. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Nice job, boys and girls. So that's the scripture we're gonna be learning all week and we will say it during our circle time every day, okay? All right, so today we are gonna be talking about the letter C. The letter C is one of the letters in our alphabet, isn't it? So let's talk, before we do that, let's go ahead and say all of the letters in our alphabet. Are you ready? Now I want you to say it while I point to it on my, on my um, calendar here, okay? Or on the poster here. All right, are we ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, 
Y, and Z. Great job, boys and girls. Now, why is it important that we learn the letters of our alphabet? Hmm. If you said because you want to learn how to read, then that is the right answer. Learning the letters of the alphabet will help us be able to know what sound they make. So then when we put them all together and make words, your mind will be able to make those sounds that you learned in preschool. So that's why we're gonna learn about the letters. And this week, we are learning about the letter C. The letter C looks like this. Both the capital C and the lowercase c look the same. The lowercase c is the smaller of the two and the capital letter is the big one. So it's easy to remember what they look like because they both look the same, huh? Now, do you know the sound the letter C makes? The letter C says k, k, k. Can you make that sound with me? K, k, k. Good job, it's kind of in the back of your throat, isn't it? And you kind of push your tongue up into the top of your throat, k, 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 and then push the air out. That's right, and there are a lot of words in the alphabet that have the letter C sound. So listen to a few of these examples, and I want you to tell me if you can hear where the letter C is in that word, okay? So the first word is car, car. Do you hear that k, k sound at the beginning of the word car, car? Good job. All right, let's talk about another one. Another word that has the C in it is cat. Cat. Do you hear that C sound? K, k, cat. Here it is at the beginning of the word. Cat. Good job, boys and girls. Now, my favorite food, it has the letter C in it. There's actually two letter C's in the word, but they kind of make different sounds, so it can get a little confusing. But one of the words is going to say k. I want you to listen to it. Are you ready? Here's my favorite thing to eat, ice cream. Do you hear the letter C in cream? Ice cream, k, k, cream. That's right, boys and girls. Do you like ice cream? Ice cream is delicious. My favorite flavor of ice cream is usually strawberry, but I can be known to have some bubblegum ice cream every now and then. Do you like bubblegum ice cream? Have you ever had bubblegum ice cream before? The kind that I eat comes in the color blue. Isn't that fun? I think it's so fun. Okay, today's activity. Now, this is what you're going to need for today's activity. You are going to need to get your ice cream paper. So make sure you ask your adults to print off your ice cream paper for you. And what you're going to do, what we're gonna be doing is talking about our favorite flavors of ice cream. Okay, let's do it. This is the activity that you're going to be working on today. This says, I like the colors of ice cream. And like I was saying, ice cream comes in all different colors. So we're gonna practice our colors today by coloring the ice cream flavors different colors. So you might need an adult to help you read what these colors are so you can make sure and get the color on the right ice cream. Okay, mom and dad? So make sure you help the, your kids read these colors. So the first thing I want you to do is to color the word ice cream. You see that C for k? Cream, good job, there's cream. So color the letters in the word ice cream, then you're gonna color the ice cream here any color that you want. Maybe you wanna color them all your favorite color or the favorite flavor of ice cream you like to eat. You can make them a rainbow or you can make them with dots or spots, whatever you wanna do. Then you're gonna color each of these colors. So this one says, I like red ice cream. So I'm gonna find my color red and then I'm gonna color my ice cream red, okay? You can do that for all of the ice creams that are here, and then you're gonna cut them out and make a book. Cut on the solid lines, and then glue where it says glue here, and you stack them all on top of this one. So don't cut this one off. You're just gonna stack them on here, and it's gonna make a cute book. Let me show you what I mean. When you're finished, your book is gonna look like this. 
So make sure you try to color lots of pretty colors. We don't want just one color on our paper. And then have somebody help you cut it out and you're gonna glue it onto your page like this. So you have a little book about ice cream flavors and you can save that and keep that with you, all right? Now it's time for you to turn off the video and make sure you get your work done. Do your interactive notebook for the letter C and make sure you get those pages done today as well. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye boys and girls. Mm -hmm.